Hello, so today we'll be presenting you methylation. So what is DNA methylation? DNA methylation is an example of one of the many mechanisms of epigenetics. Epigenetics refers to inheritable changes in your DNA that don't change the actual DNA sequence. That means these changes are potentially reversible. Your DNA consists of four bases called cytosine, guanine, adenine, and thymine. A chemical unit called a methyl group, which contains one carbon and three hydrogen atoms, can be added to cytosine. When this happens, the area of the DNA is methylated. When you lose that methyl group, the area becomes demethylated. DNA methylation often inhibits the expression of certain genes. For example, the methylation process might stop a tumor, causing gene from turning on, preventing cancer. DNA methylation and diet. The process DNA methylation partly relies on several nutrients. For example, a 2014 study looked at DNA methylation of tumor cells in women with breast cancer. The study's investigators found that participants who consumed more alcohol were more likely to have decreased DNA methylation. In contrast, those who consumed a lot of folate were more likely to have increased methylation. These results support the idea that consuming certain nutrients affects DNA methylation. Some other nutrients that may influence DNA methylation include folate, vitamin B12, vitamin B6, choline, methionine, and polyphenols. DNA methylation abnormalities in cancer. Appropriate DNA methylation is essential for development and proper cell functioning. Thus, any abnormalities in this process may lead to various diseases, including cancer. Indeed, tumor cells are characterized by a different methylome from that of normal cells. Interestingly, both hypo- and hypermethylation events can be observed in cancer. Generally, a global decrease in methylated CPG content is observed. Determining the cancer DNA methylome. The importance of DNA methylation alterations in tumor igenesis encourages us to decode the human epigenome. Nowadays, various methods are available to assess the DNA methylation pattern of particular DNA regions. Important progress has also been made towards completing a large-scale analysis of DNA methylation. Five methyl cytosines can be detected by three possible methods based on bisulfate conversion of DNA. Bisulfite conversion is a method used to make it easy to distinguish methylated from unmethylated cytosines in genomic DNA at single base resolution. DNA is first denatured, made single-stranded, and then treated with sodium bisulfite. Metal-sensitive restriction enzymes, they are used to analyze the methylation status of cytosine residues in CPG sequences. Chromatin immunoprecipitation, short CHIP, they are used to analyze the methylation status of cytosine residues in CPG sequences. Thank you very much for your attention, and please don't forget to check out Ms. Ohanyan's YouTube channel for more interesting and informational videos.